How to measure using a centimeter ruler, part two. Some practice problems. Well, here's the first problem. There's a centimeter ruler. How long is this red line? Put the video on pause, answer the question, and then when you start it up, we'll see what the answer is and how well you did. Remember, you are allowed the precision of the ruler plus one estimated position that must be a zero or a five. That means that you have to have a digit in the hundreds place. Go ahead and put the video on pause and see if you can answer this question. All right, are you ready? Here's the answer. The answer is 1.00 centimeters. Now this might be a little bit tricky. Let's see why. The red line is closest to this whole centimeter mark. So we would first have to write down a one, one whole centimeter. There are, however, no tenths of centimeters which would represent this first line. So we have to have a zero in the tenths place. And if you look at this line, you might think that it goes a little bit beyond this one centimeter line, but it doesn't go far enough towards this tenths of a centimeter line to give you this halfway position. And so we have to round this line off to this one centimeter line. That gives us a zero in the hundredths position. So there's one whole centimeter, zero tenths of a centimeter, and we have to round it off to zero hundredths of a centimeter also. Now remember, that last digit has to either be a zero, which would be rounded off here, or a five, which would be rounded off halfway in between these two marks. All right, let's try another one and see how well you do. Go ahead and pause the video. Then when you turn it on, we'll look at the answer. All right, here's the answer. The answer is 1.80 centimeters. There's one centimeter. You count these tenths, you get eight tenths of a centimeter. And then it looks like that red line falls pretty close to it exactly on that 0.8 centimeter line. So we have no hundredths beyond that. So the answer is 1.80 centimeters. Remember, you are allowed the precision of the ruler plus one estimated position, and that must be a zero or five. Here's the next question. Go ahead and pause the video, write down your answer, and we'll see how well you do. And here is the answer. The answer is 3.35 centimeters. There is three whole centimeters, and let's see, one, two, three tenths of a centimeter. And if you look carefully at this red line, it appears to go just about halfway between the 0.3 and the 0.4. So we have to have point we have to have five hundredths of a centimeter there. So it's three point three five centimeters. Remember that last digit, the hundredths place, can only be a zero or a five. So you're gonna have to round your answer off to this line or go halfway in between. And this red line up here looks like it falls halfway in between these two marks. So the answer is three point three five centimeters. We'll try another one. All right, put the video on pause. See what your answer is, and we'll check it when you're done. All right, here's the answer. The answer is 0 0.95 centimeters. Obviously here, we have no whole centimeters. We have 0 0.9 centimeters to right here, and it looks like the, measure, the line we're measuring goes halfway in between these two marks right here. So that's 0.95 centimeters. So 0 
0.95 centimeters. Next question. Go ahead and put the video on pause. And when you come back, we'll see how well you did. All right, here's the answer. The answer is 1.50 centimeters. Why? Because it looks like that red line that we're measuring falls right on this half centimeter line, or 0.5 centimeters. So that's 1.1, 1 .1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 0 hundredths centimeters. So it's 1.50 centimeters. Remember, you are allowed the precision of the ruler plus one estimated position that must be a zero or a five. Another problem. Go ahead and turn the video off. And when you turn it back on, we'll look at the answer. All right, here's the answer. The answer is 3.05 centimeters. There's three whole centimeters. There is no tenths, but it looks like that red line falls between these two marks. So that's 3.05 centimeters. Remember, that last digit has to be a zero or a five. That digit has to be a zero or a five. And since that red line looks like it falls halfway between these two marks, it falls halfway between three and 3.1, so that's 3.05 centimeters. All right, let's see how this one works out for you. Go ahead and stop the video, and when you turn it back on, we'll check your answer. And the answer is 0 0.45 centimeters. That is, zero whole centimeters. We have 0.4, that means four tenths of a centimeter right there, and it looks like it goes halfway to the next line. So it's halfway between 0.4 and 0.5, which would give you a 0 0.45 centimeters. That would be, again, 0 0.45 centimeters. Remember, you are allowed the precision of the ruler plus one estimated position, and that position must be a zero or a five. All right, another problem. Go ahead and stop the video. See if you can figure out the answer. We'll see how well you do. And the answer is... 1.20 centimeters. That would be 1.20 centimeters. There are no hundredths after that 0.2 centimeter mark. The red line that we're measuring looks like it falls right on that 0.2 centimeter line. So we're going to round it off to that line and give you no hundredths out here, no hundredths in here, and the answer is 1.20 centimeters. All right. Remember now, the last digit has to be a 0 or a 5. Go ahead and stop the video. Write your answer down. And once you've committed to an answer, start the video up, and we'll see how well you did. And the answer is... 2.65 centimeters, that's 2.12345.6, and it looks like halfway between, so 2.65 centimeters.